Hi guys, happy Saturday. It is early. It is about 10 minutes to 7 a.m. I'm just sitting outside of the grocery store to head in and do my first round of grocery shopping. I'm actually going to be hitting up three stores this morning to round out all of my groceries for the week. So I'm outside of Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. And then from here, I'm heading over to Trader Joe's. I want to pick up some of the light shredded mozzarella if they have any before it's gone. I don't know if you guys heard, but I, apparently they're redoing the packaging and the nutritional information on the light shredded mozzarella. It's wrong, I guess. So it is going to be discontinued until 2020. I literally almost cried. It is my favorite cheese. So I'm going to stop by there and see if I can grab a few packages. It freezes beautifully. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, go ahead and run over, grab the light mozzarella while you can and throw it in your freezer. And I also want to get some fresh flowers and just kind of do a little peeking around, seeing what's new on WW at Trader Joe's. And then I'm doing a Walmart grocery pickup as well to pick up some of those things that I really like to grab at Walmart that Fred Meyer doesn't carry. And then I'm also going to be showing you my Costco haul that I went uh, to Costco earlier this week with my mom. So I'm going to show you that as well. So this is going to be a huge grocery haul. So if you want to see what I picked up to stay on track and lose weight on the WW Freestyle program, then just keep watching. So here's what I picked up at Costco. It is Tuesday. I'm just adding this to the beginning of my Saturday grocery haul. So mom and I went to Costco. All of the prices will be on the screen. So the first thing I picked up was this big bag of the Little Potato Company Dynamic Duo. This was a bargain. This is five pounds. And you pay like $4 for a little tiny bag. We love these potatoes. They're great in the air fryer. They're great to throw in the oven, the crock pot, the instant pot. So we decided to go ahead and grab a bag of the Dynamic Duos. Also, we use Zantac for heartburn, especially my husband. This was a steal. This lasts us months and months, and this is great if you have consistent heartburn. Also on sale was Costco's version of Claritin, which is their allergy meds. This is enough for a year. It's one tablet a day, and there's 365 tablets, and I think this was on sale for like eight bucks. You cannot beat that. So stocked up on our medicine. I also grabbed some more gummy vitamins. I like these ones with calcium and these were a really good price as well. Two containers, 120 vitamins per container. Also, I found this super cute shirt. It's a little see-through, but I thought that you could wear just a tank underneath, but it's a cute short sleeve shirt and it's got this cute detailing on the sleeves and also around the neck. And this was on clearance for seven bucks. So I thought this would be great for a work shirt. It's light, perfect for summer, but it's got a nice desirable look to it. Very professional. Also found my dog some checkups, dog treats. My dogs cannot have chicken or grain, so I have to be really careful with what treats I buy them. And these were a great price. Great for tartar buildup. I just break them in half and Diesel gets half and Lola gets half. So they last a super long time. There's 24 in the package. So that's basically 48 treats for me. Also, I got a big thing of taco seasoning. Costco has the best price for that. This is like 80 million packages and it's like four bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I've been seeing these all over Instagram and social media. These are the Tyson chicken strips. I know there's a salt and pepper one, which is what I really wanted, but they didn't have it at my Costco. And then there's this blackened, and these are zero points on Weight Watchers, you guys. And there's 20 grams of protein, zero smart points. So I thought, how great would this be? They're fully cooked, so you can just warm them up in your air fryer in a pan or even in the microwave and toss them on a salad. So I thought, what a quick and easy way to have pre-cooked chicken on hand that's zero points that's already seasoned. So was really excited to find that. And speaking of chicken, I restocked up on my Foster Farms. I think this is a fantastic deal. So this was just under $25 and it's just over eight pounds of chicken, $2.99 a pound. 
These are tear off pouches, leak resistant, and I just literally tear these into individual pouches. So there's six per package, toss them in my freezer. There's two chicken breasts per pouch. Perfect for my husband and I love these. I think the quality of the chicken is outstanding and two ninety nine dollars a pound is a great price uh, for a name brand chicken. So every time I go to Costco, I grab this. I also grabbed the Costco or the Kirkland Signature Canola Cooking Spray. Now I normally don't buy this because it had propellants in it, but if you notice, I believe they have changed their formula for their cooking spray and it also says non-genetically engineered. So the price on this is fantastic. So I went ahead and grabbed it just to stock up on my cooking spray. I also picked up a case of water, which is not shown. And lastly, non-WW friendly, I grabbed this 36 pack of Pringle cans for my husband's lunch. This was 10 bucks, you guys, for 36. That's a steal. So everything here at Costco, I'll put my total I spent here on the screen for you guys. But yeah, that's my little mini Costco haul, minus a little case of water. So let's go on to our Fred Meyer or our Kroger grocery haul. So I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up at Kroger. So first they had a great deal on the 16 pack of the Ritz crackers. These are for my husband, but I thought I'd show them to you just in case you liked these and wanted to incorporate these into your eating for the day. But this is for my husband. This was a great deal. I think it was $3.99. And normally I pay that for eight packs and this is 16. So he takes these in his lunch. I also grabbed some hard boiled eggs just for ease. They're pre-shelled, pre-packaged into two eggs. These were also on sale for a great price, just about $2. So just nice to have on hand for a quick, easy snack. Sour cream, I picked up the natural for my husband and the reduced fat for myself. We use this a lot in Mexican type of dishes, which we've been out of sour cream, so it was nice to pick these up just to have these on hand. I also grabbed some mixed veggies. This is for an upcoming recipe this next week. And I've never purchased these, but this was on clearance for about $2.50. These are farm fresh real chopped basil and basically they're in little frozen cubes. So all you do is keep these in your freezer and when you want basil you just pop them out and put them in your dish. And I thought for the price I wanted to give them a try. I never eat the fresh basil fast enough before the plant goes bad and the dried basil just is never as good as the fresh. So I grabbed these to have on hand. I needed some salsa for an upcoming dinner recipe, so I grabbed this private selection restaurant style salsa in mild. Also, I needed almond milk, and I've been hearing all about the cashew milk, so I went ahead and picked that up instead of almond milk for this week. My staple, the fat-free Ready Whip. This is for my Smart Cake yogurt parfaits. This is a new item for me that I decided to try. I've heard that these are excellent. This is the Enlightened, and this one is the Cold cold Brew Coffee Chip. Uh, yes, coffee and ice cream. And these, you guys, are only three smart points for the entire ice cream bar. So I wanted to give those a try. I can't wait, I'll have to report back and let you guys know how these are. And as you know, I do buy green beans for my dogs every week, and this was only $2.10 for four cans versus 70 cents a can. So I thought, I'm just gonna buy four cans, this will last me, I don't have to worry about running out. So cut green beans for them. I do rinse these a couple of times uh, before I give them to them just to remove the salt. Also, Tillamook string cheese was on sale for $2.00. And 50 cents. So I grabbed the Colby Jack. These will basically be for my husband's lunch. But if you have a Fred Meyer or a Kroger store, I wanted to show these to you. That's an excellent price. Also in the bulk section, I picked up some poppy seeds. And this is for an upcoming recipe, I believe for my lunch prep. If you don't need a lot of a spice, it is best to buy them in the bulk section. I think this was 20 cents. Rather than buying a whole thing of poppy seeds that I'll probably never use again. I also bought a can of corn. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. They had their steak on a really good sale. So I picked up two packs, this entire pack of petite sirloin, which is one of the lower point red meat steaks, was only $7. And then a large pack here for only $10. I do need steak for two upcoming dinner recipes this next week. That was a fantastic deal, and you can just freeze these, cut the extra fat off, and you have a really lean 
cut of meat. I also grabbed two dozen of my happy eggs. As you know, these are my favorite eggs in the world. And these were still on sale for $3.99 a dozen. So I picked up two dozen. I also bought, bought some imitation crab meat. Now I wanted real crab meat, but a little tiny six ounce can was $20. I can't do it. So I decided to just get this imitation. The points aren't too bad and I'm going to be making a recipe with this and I don't even think you'll notice imitation versus real crab. So whatever your preference is, I just didn't want to pay $20 for six ounces when this is a 16 ounce package and it was like $4. And then I got a couple of non-food things I just wanted to share with you. These Let Me Shine, which is a great brand of dishwasher detergent cleaners, was on sale for 99 cents a package. I love their dishwasher cleaner. You literally throw this in, start a cycle, and your dishwasher comes out sparkling clean and for 99 cents not a bad price so i grabbed four of those and then i also picked up the washing machine cleaner i have a front load and that rubber seal just gets gross it just icky so i use this every once in a while to clean my washing machine and i've never tried the lemmy shine brand so i'm excited great product great brand if you're looking for dishwasher, washing machine, and I even had garbage disposal. And again, 99 cents on sale through the weekend. And then I went ahead and picked up a refill of my Wet n Wild Primer Water. I use this, I spray my face with this before I apply my makeup. Usually I buy the coconut, but with summer here, I decided to buy the cucumber. And this is so awesome. Your makeup sits on your face so nicely. It's refreshing. And so this was on sale for $4.99. So I picked that up as well. So that's everything that I grabbed at Fred Meyer. So let's go ahead and move in to Trader Joe's. So here's what I picked up at Trader Joe's. So first I grabbed a stem of flowers. I like having fresh flowers on the island in my kitchen. So I went ahead and grabbed another bundle, $3.99. I also grabbed this plain pizza dough for my husband. Whenever I make the two ingredient dough pizzas, I just buy this for him. It's $1.19 and it is literally ready to go. So what I do is I just throw it in the freezer until pizza night and then I roll that out and make him his pizza on that and I do the two ingredient dough. I also grabbed the Trader Joe's smoked turkey breast. This is zero smart points. So I'm really excited to have this. It's all natural. There's nothing added to it. No antibiotics, nothing at all. And it was a pretty good deal. I want to say $2.99. I really am craving like a turkey and cheese wrap on an Olay wrap. So I grabbed these so that I could make that for lunch today. And then green onions. I need these for a couple of upcoming recipes. I grabbed a ton of lettuce. My lunch this week requires a lot of lettuce. So first I picked up a pack of baby spinach. I also love butter lettuce and this is already cut up and ready to go. And then I picked up some romaine as well. That way I can mix the three lettuces together for my salad. I grabbed a red onion and that is for an upcoming recipe. Same with the avocado as well as a single lime. I also picked up a big pack of organic strawberries. These were $5.99, not bad at all for two pounds of strawberries. And this is for my lunch meal prep. And then the rest we can just eat throughout the week. And then I picked up a watermelon, uh, $3.99. Great deal. I'm loving some watermelons. So here's a tip on picking a watermelon. So first you want to look for this webbing. That is a good sign of a juicy, ripe watermelon. And you also want your watermelon to have quite a large yellow circle and some webbing. That means that it sat on the ground a long time, so it is nice and juicy. So a couple tips on how to pick a good watermelon. Unfortunately, my Trader Joe's was out of the light shredded mozzarella, and in fact, there wasn't even a tag for it anymore. So I'm very sad, and I think it's gone until next year. So that makes me really sad. I even asked and she checked in the back and they didn't have any. So this was my Trader Joe's haul. Lastly, I'm gonna show you what I picked up at Walmart. And lastly, here's the few things I picked up at Walmart. Not shown is some beer for my husband as well as a 24 pack of Diet Coke for my husband as well. So these are the few things in addition to that that I grabbed at Walmart. So I have some Olay wraps. As I mentioned, I've been really craving a wrap, like a turkey, lettuce, mayo, cheese. So I picked up another pack of Olay wraps, not to mention they are a lot less expensive at Walmart. 
I also grabbed two of the fat-free cream cheese. I cannot find these at Fred Meyer where I typically shop. And I just throw these in the freezer until I'm ready to use them. They freeze beautifully. They come out perfect. So two of the fat-free cream cheese. I also grabbed another box of the sugar-free yellow cake mix. I don't have any on hand and I have a recipe in mind to use this. Again, I can't find this at Fred Meyer, so I always add it to my Walmart pickup. Also, two and a half pounds or 2.25 pounds of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. I just weigh this out on my food scale, divide it into Ziploc bags and pop it in my freezer. Great deal. This was a little over $10 for 2.25 pounds and you can't beat that for extra, extra lean 96.4. I always grab G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce at Walmart. Again, I cannot find this at Fred Meyer. So whenever I do a Walmart grocery haul, I add it. And lastly, I've been seeing this all over YouTube and Instagram. This is the cake batter extract. There are so many things that you guys can do with this. So stay tuned for some upcoming recipes. I believe I first saw this on Amanda Seifert's channel, but don't quote me on that. But you can use this in a ton of recipes, so I grabbed that as well. So that is my Walmart haul. Now let's get into this week's meal plan. All right, let's move into this week's meal plan. Of course, I am using my Carrie L meal planner. You know I love my meal planner. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. There are several tabs, resources for websites and things that you'd be interested in keeping track of recipes, blogs, planning sites, inventory, there's pantry, freezer, refrigerator. This is a really cool tool. It is on my list to do. And then of course the meal plans tab, we'll come back to that. The gatherings tab is gonna look pretty similar to the meal plan tab. It's going to have a place for you to track your gathering and of course a removable grocery list. And lastly, there's a notes tab, and that's for you to take notes. So I often jot down recipes that I find online that I can't print off so that I have them on hand. And then also in the back of your meal planner is this cute little pocket for you to store recipes. So let's go back to the meal plans tab since that's the one that we're gonna be focusing on today. So in your meal plan tab, not only do you have a monthly meal planner, which I love this. You can see that I use this, I can keep track of the meals that I'm planning on making. So at a glance, I know what's on the menu for the following day. I can pull out any frozen items, meats, veggies, things that I need to unfreeze. I can also double check and make sure I have everything on hand for the recipe for the next day. Also, each week you have a weekly menu where you can plan your entire week's worth of food. You also have a detachable grocery list, which I use every single week to plan my grocery list. So it just makes staying on track and planning your menu so easy. It doesn't stress you out. It's not overwhelming. It's literally extremely easy with the Carriel meal planner. So let's move into this week's meal plan. So my week goes Saturday through Friday. So of course today is Saturday the 13th. We are going out to dinner, so I don't have a meal planned for today. Tomorrow I'm going to be making crab cakes in my air fryer. That is what I bought that crab for. And we're gonna pair that with a side salad. On Monday, I'm going to be making Mongolian beef and broccoli in my air fryer. So I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys because who'd have thought you could make Mongolian beef in your air fryer. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to be making a bean burrito bowl. This is a vegetarian meal that you'll be seeing in an upcoming vegetarian uh, video, which a lot of you have been asking for, so I'm excited to accommodate that. And then on Wednesday, we're going to be doing Instant Pot Fried Rice, and I'm just going to pair that with some marinated chicken. And then, of course, Thursday and Friday are my leftover days. So that's what's on my meal plan for this week. On the back of that is where I plan what I'm going to meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making cinnamon swirl coffee cake. Wait until you guys see this recipe. I cannot wait. I have been craving coffee cake. So this is going to be perfect. I'm going to pair that with just some eggs and some turkey bacon. 
For lunch this week, I another thing I've really been craving is salad. So I found a copycat Panera strawberry salad. So I can't wait to make this. And I'm going to marinate some chicken. I'm going to show you guys an easy way to marinate chicken. And that is going to be lunch. And then I am really excited for this. This week's sweet treat, I'm going to be making WW Friendly No Bake Cookies. You heard me right. WW Friendly. I cannot wait to share that with you. That is why I mentioned this week's meal prep is going to be so awesome. You'll see this uploaded on Monday. So that's it guys. That's my meal plan. That's my meal prep. This is my Carrie L meal planner. You can purchase this down in my description box using the link. The code here on the screen will give you 10% off. So you can't beat that. If you want ease in meal planning and meal prepping, this is a staple. It's a must, must have. So again, 10% off with my link here on the screen and the link with my code here on the screen and the link is down in the description box. All right, guys, that's it for this week's meal plan and meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. Whew, we bought some groceries at four different stores. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the really good WW things you can pick up at several stores in your area. And then of course you were able to see my meal plan, which I'm extremely excited about in that meal prep. I cannot wait for that meal prep. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Make sure you hit that little red subscribe button and that bell. That way you're notified every time that I upload. I'd love it if you'd thumbs up this video. Comment down below. Let me know if there were any new food finds for you or what recipe or recipes you are most excited about. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.